so right off the back and What's up everybody, even now for another action figure review, and this time we're going to take a look at the Doctor Strange Marvel Legends Thor Mamu Build-A-Figure uh, wave of the comic version Doctor Strange. This is the third Doctor Strange from this wave, getting a little tiresome, but it is the Doctor Strange Marvel Legends series, so I guess it's okay. Anyways, this is a reissue of the original Doctor Strange figure that we got probably last year, I think it was, from the Hulkbuster wave. Exactly the same except for a cape they added on and that's it. They probably changed the effect color and that's it. Very lazy release but we're going to get into that once we get to figure out the package. Here we have the side of the package and then we have the back. He shares the package with Brother Voodoo and we have a read up that says these sorcerers combine their distinctive forms of spell binding to keep evil at bay. Then we have the rest of the wave down the bottom along with the build the figure built on the left side. Alright, here we have Doctor Strange out of the package. Uh, I do like the cape though, I gotta say the new cape looks very cool, makes the figure look a lot better than the original one. Uh, we got do have some paint apps on there, some shading on there. The scope is pretty cool too. Seems like it is removable too if you take the head off I believe, yep, take that off and then you can have the same original uh, figure that we got before so right off the bat I can say if you were to choose between this one or the Hulkbuster version I would say this one because it brings an extra cape I guess but the Hulkbuster version seems to be going a lot cheaper than this figure so it's up to you it's the same figure it's just the cape on this one that's it anyways this one comes with the build a figure piece the right arm of Dormammu here so here we have his nice purple arm that's very muscular so there's that piece we are one piece away from building him, and then we have these effects, these Doctor Strange effects. Very cool color, uh, but it's the same that we've gotten before too, just different color. Alright, so here we have him up close. It looks very nice. I think they applied the paint pretty good on the figure. On the face, came out good. Uh, overall, he's using the Bucky Cap mold once again, or I guess you could say the everybody mold because Deadpool has it. So does Nick Fury and Vision that they released from the Hulkbuster wave along with a lot of other figures that use this mold. But I do love this mold. Uh, they did have a different torso for this Doctor Strange though. But anyways, the articulation is a ball jointed hinge for the head so left and right. Uh, even with the cape on, he looks a lot until, you know, it does hinder it. But it's not too bad. You can get a pass there too. Then it looks awkward. Uh, looks up a lot. Looks down a lot. Uh, the arms go forward and back. In and out, but super stiff. That's crazy stiff. Uh, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows there. Swivel at the wrist with a hinge. Do have an ab crunch right here. Swivel at the waist. Two jointed legs go forward and back. In and out. Thigh swivel. Double jointed knee. Shin swivel. Ankles go forward and back. And it does ankle pivot as well. And so there you have it. That concludes my quick review on this Doctor Strange figure. Uh... He's not a bad figure at all, it's just a reissue, so he's going to be an easy pass. Most people already have this guy, uh, unless you really, really want him for the cape, and maybe get rid of your other one, that's the only way. But he's going to be a peg warmer because everyone probably already has this figure already. Unless you're a huge Doctor Strange fan, I don't see a lot of people picking this up. Uh, but if you did not get the first release of it on the Hulkbuster wave, I do recommend getting this uh, version of it, because it does look very nice with the cape, and I really do like it. Um, the figure itself is very nice and does have all the good articulation that this mold allows it to have. So that's always good. The paint is applied very nicely too. So overall, the figure is a great figure. It's a good figure. Uh, it's a figure that we've gotten before. The only gripe is that it's a reissue. So, you know, it's not too exciting because there's nothing new here. Uh, so with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you guys like. And you guys have a great day. Bye. That's crispy.